Welcome to the Faros Getting Started videos. To follow along, you'll need either a Mac or Windows computer, and the latest release of Faros Designer 2, free to download from our website. Installation is simple, just click the downloaded file and follow the instructions. No additional key or dongle is required to start using Faros Designer software. After installing and opening the software, start a new project. And then choose an LPC as your controller in the Quick Start menu. This will create a project so we can review the basic parts of the user interface. On the left are the navigation tabs for the various software modes. Top left is the toolbar with relevant tools and options for the currently selected tab. Top right is the main toolbar, that persists across all tabs and contains the following tools. Issue Browser Help Undo Redo And the main menu The main window of the software is the working area for the selected tab, and will change arrangement based on the area you are in. Finally, here are panes that will provide equipment lists while in the layout tab, and details of selected items in the other areas. Some navigation tabs and advanced features are hidden by default and adapt with the project automatically, based on the hardware used in your project. Alternatively, these can be controlled manually in the Project Features tab, where you can choose to hide or reveal the features you want. When working in the main window, right-clicking will reveal menus conveniently showing relevant options. Designer also supports keyboard shortcuts, which you can find in the help file. When hovering over a navigation tab, you have the option of opening this tab in a separate window. This is a great way to work on two or more areas in the software at the same time. The complete Designer 2 project is saved as a single .pd2 file. A project file is compatible with current and future versions of Designer. Each video includes the version of Designer 2 we've used for recording. Note that other versions might have small differences in appearance. Faros Designer 2 supports multiple instances of the software open at one time, allowing you to have multiple project files open simultaneously. Faros Designer software is used to configure Faros hardware for a specific project. The software does not directly control equipment from your computer. A Faros controller is needed for the output of DMX and possible system integration. After commissioning, all data is stored in the controller, and no computer has to be left on site. Please watch our next video to start building your first project.